Do outside video games, all right? You ruin everything. <laughs> what fun fancy is this? Nine. I love it. You have played in this one. Nine. Well, as Mr. Know It All said. Oh, Percy! <laughs> welcome to Final Fantasy Nine. <laughs> This is a departure from what I had planned to do with RPGs and with Final Fantasy, and there's for a few reasons. I don't want to bore you with them all right now because it'll take a while, and you guys don't want to hear me prattle on forever and ever. Um, but one of them being the fact that you guys are already more familiar with Final Fantasies than I am. So my plan was well, I would introduce you to RPGs the way I did. We were going to play Maybe. Super Mario RPG, which was my it's first one. You had, uh, you had already played um, you had already played uh, Pokemon, and then it was Final Fantasy 7 for me. That's what we were going to do. That one, A, <coughs> is not as family friendly as this one, uh, but then B, it's I can't recreate that because you guys have already played some of the earlier ones. You've played the card game. You've played the uh, mobile game with me. So you're already familiar with a lot of the characters, at least, and some of the things about Final Fantasy. So no. instead, let's go with a little bit more practical approach, go with one that we can do now. Because it's going to take a long time to get through games like this, so we better get into one now if we want to record any of them. Notice that says Lindblum instead of Lindblum. Uh, but anyway... Without much ado, let's get into it. So I'll try to have a section planned out. I'll try to make sure any grinding is done off screen so we're strong enough to get through the next section uh, before we sit down. Um, I would like you, I have some voices I would like you to do. I have a voice I would like you to do to help me do some reading, please. Um, you, if you can show me you can read faster and better, buddy. Keep practicing, you can, I can give you a voice too, okay? Um, I'm not gonna leave right now. You yeah, right. Maybe, maybe, maybe later. You're progressing very well. But you're just not maybe quite there. Maybe I yet. might get Steinroll for Eco. Anyway, please stop freaking out, Squirrel Muffin. Please stop freaking out. I can send you to bed. <laughs> I'm excited, but I, I kind not of want to control it. Uh, anyway. Enough. Let's get to some intro movies. It's helping, Daddy. Oh, they're out. <clears throat> it's like they're out in the ocean. In a tiny rickety boat. In a storm. Big one. I don't know who's in there. No, com <clears throat> no comments during the FMVs. Whoa! Like a roller coaster. I don't know who it is. A big old sword sitting, sticking out of that castle. No, it's a spire. Otherwise, why would it be played up? Yeah. 
possible airship. dark. Guess nobody's here yet. Yep. Yep. Whatever. Move Whatever. Oh, I guess you guys need to know that, don't you? If you're going to be doing any controlling. Squirrel man. First off. Turn, turn off. Turn off the thing. Turn off the thing. Hey, turn off the thing. There we go. Light the candle in the middle of the room. Who's there? We're confirming it. <coughs> they died. We can. They you can. Died. This is actually one of is the last, not counting um the main monkey fish. Will you stop interrupting? No. Now one character in ten. This is the last one where you can rename people. We will probably just go with defaults because you already know them by their default names. Yes. With possibly one exception. We'll get to that. Okay. When it's time. Besides, uh, monkey face won't fit. It's too many letters. Zidane. It's me, Zidane. <laughs> hey, Zidane. You sure are late. Sorry. So where's the boss? Ain't here yet. Hold on, squirrely man. Ah! Oh, my head. Go easy, you guys. Phew. Hey, fools. You're looking a lot better. Wah! <laughs> Alright, let's start this meeting already. I moved monkey face, not the auto game. Here's the plan. Tantalus, the infamous band of daring thieves, that's us, is heading to the kingdom of Alexandria. Our mission? Kidnap the heir to the throne, Princess Garnet. I'll take it from here, so listen up. Our ship's about to dock at Alexandria, and my voice has changed. And when it does, we're going to put on our costumes. And perform I Want to Be Your Canary, the most popular play in Alexandria. Break a leg, Marcus, because you're playing the lead. Leave the acting to me. Of course, the real kidnappers will be blank and sedan. I'll distract the audience from backstage with these little buggers. I can't stand Oglops. But I'll manage, so don't worry about me. Um, quick question, uh, so... Are there, like, do we, like, us kids have, like, and certain be, control of people? And that'll be your cue, Zidane. Like, we play? Okay, so, that's when we kidnap Queen Brane, right? Oh. You bet! You're gonna kidnap the most babelish beauty in all of Alexandria, Princess, Princess. Garnet! That's baby. That's baby. You know what I mean? You guys already know who all the characters are. 
Not all of them. We're gonna crash on him! No, they're okay. It's getting close, though. The acting troop knows how to make an entrance, huh? You bet. That is totally a sword. No, it isn't. Look how it's all reflecting and shiny. It's got a big point on top. That is a sword. That's a metal spire. <laughs> A.K.A. a sword. <laughs> it's not a sword, it's just a long, sharp metal thing. This is a sword! Some giant's gonna pick up that castle and wield it. <laughs> no? Wait, we already went through this! Why don't we start it? Will you chill? You don't even know what's going on. Alexandria. Are you all right? Here, you dropped your ticket. Bye bye. <laughs> Stop, turn that off. Baby. There we go. That doesn't look right. I mean, I know it's classic, but it does not look right in this game. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Leave. B. Leave. No. 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 It's <laughs> tight. There we go. Nine minutes. Alright, where should I go? Talk to that kid. Ow! Oh. Why you? Get out of my way! Okay, that's too fast. <coughs> uh, Jibbles, why don't you explore around a bit? Oh, okay. what is that <coughs> hard thing? Or not? I mean, that means they're a card player. Honorable nobles of Trino, Castle Alexandria is this way! Oh, not the bird was gonna attack you. You. He kicked the bird. <laughs> That's rude. Sorry. Look out. Hey, hey. Theodore, wait. Theo, wait. Theodore. Hmm. <coughs> peek in or cancel. Or peek in. Can I help you, son? This, uh, um, this is you. That's your character. What's this? There's something odd about this ticket. Why, it's another fake! I've seen so many today. No. Now, now, don't cry. I know how you must feel. Here, I'll give you these. Do try to cheer up now, hmm? Goblin card, Fang card, Skeleton card. Talk to Alleyway Jack to learn more about cards. Good luck, lad. Only noblemen and ticket holders may pass through this gate. Hold on. Mm. There you go, now you're moving. I Didn't you hear the guards woman? You're not a ticket holder. I mean, you are a ticket holder, but she means legitimate ticket holder. What's there? 
<clears throat> the three heroic knights of Pluto. This statue was built to commemorate the three knights of who fought bravely in the 15th Lindblom War in 1601. Just a cards. Hmm. No, more cards. No. You misunderstand. Exclamation mark is something that you can interact with. Could be a person, could be a thing, could be a hidden treasure. And also, if you see cards, they can play cards. You can talk to the person. You don't have to play cards. That's two different options. Married for 30 years, worked on our, our rear ends off, and finally we can afford a ticket to the show. I'm so happy. Hey ghouls, can I join your party? Do you like flowers too? How do you play cards with somebody? Just a question, but how do you play you're, Well, you're supposed to find Alleyway Jack to find out. What do you mean there's no vacancies? Yes, you see. Really quite sorry. What? I don't believe this. I have a reservation, damn it! Jeez! So scary. Sure, you speak up there, Vivi. <coughs> Pardon me, sir, out of the way, please. What's... Sorry, no vacancies today. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> Wait, come on. Is there nothing in there? That's what it looks like. Excuse <laughs> me! I think you have to let her downstairs. Then go up. See what's down there. Oh. oh, it's a balcony. Too bad you can't jump from it and break your neck. You? That's weird. Squirrel. Oh, stop! Stop it! Nothing Nothing is that important. He <laughs> <You> runs <laughs> run straight through her. Wait, Tuck the alley, Jack. The other way. Probably in an alley. What about over here? Oh, that might be him. Ow. Blast it! Hey! You made me miss, you little klutz! Phew! That should do it. Not sure how hammering the sign hangs it up. Well, it's been a long day. I'm just gonna leave my ladder here. Hey, you, shrimp! You're the one with the phony ticket, ain't ya? Hey, you remember what I'm him? It's Rat Kid. No, you're not Rat Kid. Yeah. I saw the guy tell you it was fake. I'll let you see the show if you become my slave. Don't forget to read your response you're choosing. Well, what do you say? Alright. Awesome! Now, for your first assignment, you go stand over there and see if anyone's coming. All clear? Yeah, it's all clear. Awesome! Engage according to mission parameters! Whoa. Oh. Ouch. Mugged for two gill. Muggle. Hey! Oh, he'll probably wait for you. Over here! Don't fall behind. End of the steeple. Hey. <laughs> Jibbles. 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 Wait, dang. 
<laughs> they can't really figure out the controls. Now, we're gonna climb up this tower. Oh, um, yeah. It's very dangerous. You go first. Ow! Ow! <laughs> what the heck was. Why are you laughing? What the heck was that? You are the Moogles, because you do a good Moogle. That's Koopo. He's a Moogle. Oh, hey, you have lines, Koopo. mister. Get up here. Koopo. And this is slave number one. Try to get along, okay? Koopo, pleased to meet you. I'm sorry, I enter you in Moogle Diary. If you want to save game on the save folder, just ask us Moogles. Koopo! And you can regain health if you have a tent. Koopo! You understand? I understand. Glad I can help, Koopo! Alright, time for some upward mobility. Okay, come on up, slave. You're all the Moogles. Koopo, you here? Koopo, stop, stop skin, why that good up? You leaving, Koopo? Yeah, and this time I might be away for a long time. I miss, Try to watch. I'll miss you, Koopo. Now, don't you worry, alright. Now, I gotta admit... <coughs> When I played 9, I had only also played 7, and Moogles were, they didn't have Moogles like this in 7, and so to have them saying Koopo, and having one named Koopo, was super confusing to me. Anyway. Um. Okay, Koopo. Well, I'm off, take care. Oh, and say hi to Mosh in the castle for me. Look at that grin. Mm -hmm. Pointy happy. Was you don't, you don't need to say yes. that. You don't need to call yourself Pointy Hat Boy. <laughs> Try again. Was that a friend of yours? Yes, Koopa! A very special mm -hmm. one, Koopa! Yeah. Don't add extra pose. Hey, slave! I thought I ordered you up here! Let's go to Time to make record already? Go, Devil Lake. Can I help you, Koopo? Do you want to check Mognet? No. Yeah, why not? No. Koopo, I'll tell you about the Mognet. Mognet is a mail delivery system between Moogles. We can send and receive letters to and from Moogles in other locations, Koopo. Try to be still. Make, remember the microphone's over here. But delivery has been very sporadic lately. So I want you to help us deliver mail. Coop, bo, bo. Will you help us? Stop adding extra pose. No way. Po, 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 po. Sorry. Point the hat boy. Answer him. Uh. Sure. I have a favorite task. Coop, I want you to deliver to deliver a letter to Monty. Okay. Thanks, Coop, po, po. Can I help you, Koopa? Save, Koopa? Let's save, Koopa! You don't have to say that every time, because that's going to happen a lot. Let's put our thing in slot 2 here. I'm just saying so you no! Know, ow, ow, ow! Stop! I'm, I'm not going to... Um, I... I'm not going to have, like, different voices for each Moogle, because it's going to be really hard to keep track of, so they're going to mostly sound the same. Either higher pitch or a bit Well, lower. you might want... You might want... A dedicated one for Stiltskin is a little different, because he's the recurring one, because he's traveling around, and then you oh. can have a different one for all the stationary ones, if you want. Oh. A couple of because that didn't sound like the, what you do for Mog in Opera Omni. It was a little different. But, there's just one idea, if you want to give a little variation. Mm -hmm. You can put some variation in by changing your speed just... a little, or just bring your timber, like, don't be quite so high-pitched. Just some ideas. Anyway, uh, that's enough for session one. You guys excited? Yeah. I'm pretty excited. I would like to play more. Understandable. However, it is time. That's this section. No.
no, no. It's Pippi, and you're probably not going to do much controlling, but we'll find ways to help get you guys involved, okay? You can help me control. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, this is Retro Gamer with that saying for a while.